grab these hanging flower baskets. You'll also need a tomato cage and spray painted the entire tomato cage, cut the bottom ends off, placed the flower baskets onto the tomato cage. You can use it in your bathroom, use it as a plant stand. You can use it in so many ways in your kitchen. This project was inspired by my friend Shelly at Gilbert Marketplace from Home Talk. Go grab a cookie pan. We're going to go and take off this paper and now we're going to go and spray paint this black. Now let's go and open up our picture frames. Now we're going to go and take our piece of glass and line it up with the sheet of paper. I am using this sticky cardstock. I can just stick it down, take everything off of the back from your frame, reassemble our picture frame. Now we're going to go and glue down these picture frames. Put some glue onto the edge over here, let this dry for at least an hour, and now onto the magnets. And you can go and put it onto your fridge. And now you can go and plan out your week and also your to-do list. I picked up these containers at Dollar Tree and attached the magnets to the bottom of each one of the containers. On the back of this frame, I am going to add some magnets. Now I'm going to use these glittery black stickers. So I'm using a Sharpie to write the name of spices that I use most often. Now it's time to fill up the jars. And then I can just stick the jars right on the fridge inside the frame. Take a paper towel holder and some zip ties from Dollar Tree. Loop the zip ties around the paper towel stand, evenly spaced. Take scissors and cut off the excess. Add little dots of hot glue, cover the entire stand with gold spray paint, and use it as easy storage. I grabbed three empty soda containers and then I hit the dollar store. I wanted to make this space much more organized and usable, so I took everything out measured the dimensions inside. I started using the tension rods to store my ribbon. I then wrapped the boxes with fabric, and then at the top, I just tucked it in. So attached my planters to the wall. It was time to install the row of hooks that I'd bought, filling my honeycomb with supplies that I wanted to have easily on hand, and here it is. Everything's organized, and I have it easily accessible. I grab one of these blue baskets, and I'm marking where exactly I want each of these bins to go on my wall. Adding two screws to each basket, time to load them up. I grabbed one of these over the cabinet door hangers and they hook nicely into the holes. You're going to need some hooks. Measure out where you want your hooks to go. I'm gonna grab some bins so now I can separate out my darks from my whites. I'm gonna take an over the door hanging rack, hook it over the top of my door. This is perfect for ironing boards. I'm gonna grab my iron. This keeps two things in one place. Take a clear adhesive hook from Dollar Tree and a paper towel holder. Add toilet paper rolls and you have easy and inexpensive toilet paper storage. Place scrunchies and hair ties over the top and you have an easy and cheap storage solution.